came to me in October 2019 reports with recurrent fever and urinary infections. So she came to us initially in October 2019. Before that she had had UTI with high fever twice in 2019 and before that about Five years back, she had that twice again. You're with me? So around 2014 or 15, she had it twice. It recurred again 2019 twice before coming to us. Right? So although when she came to us, the, the fever was not there. Right? Because she had taken conventional medicine. But what she was having was there was a lot of itching in the vaginal area. With a lot of burning before and after urination. Urine was not clear and sensation as if some residual urine remained. Along with these urinary symptoms, she was having a lot of backache and knee pain which was worse from movement. So it was almost like a sub-acute condition, you understand, it was not very acute because she had conventional medicine which took care of the fever but it was the urinary complaints were there. Nothing with other body parts, everything was alright. She is a hot person who likes sweet and she can have a lot of articadia from dust. So skin allergies from dust. Now when I saw this case initially, I didn't go through the generals initially because I, I was clear in my head what, it, what needs to be done. What needs to be done is we have to prescribe something to break the cycle for UTI, right? It came back five years ago, it came back again in the similar fashion with the fever and the urinary infections, right? October 2019 when she came to us, I want you to understand this medicine really well. We had started this case with B. coli in potency. Bacillus coli or which is known in today's world as Escherichia coli. In potency. This is a medicine which is available with pharmacies and I want you to try this for cases where you have recurrent, recurrent urinary infections with fever. Do not, I repeat, do not prescribe it in the acute stage but prescribe it when the cycle is gone and patient is apparently okay, give it to prevent the recurrence of UTI. Believe me, we have done thousands of cases with this medicine and it works wonders in those cases. You know, you have tried your sulfur, you have tried your tuberculinum to prevent the recurrence, do give a try to B. coli, right? And sometimes you may be presented with medical reports that this is the urinary infection. Even if the urinary infection is of some other organism, don't worry about it. B. coli, in proving it has been found that the urinary infections with fever is taken care of it. The organism's name is Escherichia coli, but the medicine is sold in pharmacies as at this name, Bacillus coli, right? Um, the ultrasound report shows chronic cystitis, and there were pus cells with the urine, and along with these symptoms, B. coli can have burning in the urine. You're with me? I repeat again, a patient who is saying, you no, know, they have had UTI every other month. It's coming back. It's coming back. You're prescribing acute medicines. You're giving the cantharis. You're giving any other acute medicines which you want to give. Definitely, it will take care of it. But you're not being able to prevent the recurrence. You understand what I mean? And B. coli is such a medicine which will help you in preventing the recurrence. It's not in Borike. You'll find that in Phobister's Metromedica, Phobister's Tutorials and Homeopathy. And there's another book on rare nosodes which I'll share with you. Um, if you can get it in Calcutta, it's a really good read. Rare nosodes. This is by an Indian author. Please do put this in your clinical tips. I want you to go back and try this really good clinical tip. It's prepared from the urine containing um, the B. coli infection.
right? So it's a nosodic. A patient who is being infected with E. coli, the urine is taken from that and potentized that. So the organism's name is E. coli, Escherichia coli, but the pharmacies sell it as the old name Bacillus coli. Right? I repeat again the indications, recurrent urinary infections with fever, do not, I repeat, do not prescribe it in the acute stage, prescribe it to prevent the recurrence, to break the cycle. And you understand it's a nosode, so it can take care of the recurrence. You are with me? Very useful medicine. We started with 30C. And you can go higher up to 1M, you know. 30C was given only once in October. November, we had boosted, the itching was much better. She had mentioned previously it was 15 to 20 times in a day. Now it has reduced to 5 times in a day, the itching in the vaginal area. The burning had also reduced. Um, December, we boosted again. The lower abdominal pain which used to be there with the burning is 80% gone, she is saying. Our uh, itching, Chulkanita. Itching is also much better, above fifty percent. Jalata, burning ta? Jalata koma je, kintu toilet e je porchi, bhetor e je nani na thuli mo tachi na postu e vechha braste. She has still, she needs to strain for the urination. Jato kono toilet ko je tato kono postu je. And there is some backache as well. Komore bata? Komore bata, hapite bata, dhurali te bata, osochu bata chilo. Kintu yakon shobi kome je jol ta khad pore toilet ta songe songe se jumo yache. Jumlei bata ta bhot chonu ba bhotche. The pain is there. The back pain is there when there is collection of urine in the bladder. As soon as urine is evacuated, she is saying the backache gets better as well. Aget theke komore bata na kome chito? I am putting a note, I want you to have a look in Borike for this medicine, Uva Ursi, U-V-A-U-R-S-I, Uva Ursi. Uva Ursi is a very good medicine where you have backache with UTI. This, is, this line is probably mentioned in Clark, but not in Borike, but you can look the medicine in Borike. I repeat again, Uva Ursi, U-V-A-U-R-S-I. Whenever you have backache with urinary tract infections. You understand what I mean? You, you heard her that she is saying that the backache is there when the urine is collected in the bladder. You are with me? So it is almost like a pelvic congestion is there with the UTI. Just put a note there, backache with UTI. You know, it is probably in Clark, but it works really well on that indication. Uva Ursi is generally prescribed in tincture. I am putting a note, I am not prescribing her Uva Ursi, I am boosting today as well. Because 30C has improved her symptoms. I will at least go up to 1M with B. coli and then maybe change to a constitutional medicine later on. But B. coli should help, you know, A, to prevent the recurrence, B, to reduce the burning and the itching as well. No, I am putting a note for Uva Ursi. Later on, if with this time, for this next six weeks, if there is no change with the backache, I may give her Uva Ursi. Right? Yes, in tincture. Yes, yes, yes. But I am not giving her right now, you know, because maybe B. coli will help her, you know, it will take care of it. But later on, if needed, I may give her Uva Ursi in tincture for the backache if it still persists.